Hi there. I just built so what some people refer to as an AR-47. It's uh, let's see if I can get my camera down here on it. It's an AR-15 in the 762 by 39 caliber. I built it for a hog gun because I hunt hogs here in Florida. Problem is, I used a polymer lower FMK. I'm real pleased with that. I bought an a complete upper from Daytona Tactical. Well, I went out today, got everything together, went out to fire it. I actually fired it. I took my lower off of my AR-15 that I bought from uh, Good Times or Ocala. It's called a Core 15, and it fired fine with that. Well, I put my lower on that I built with parts from uh, Delta Tactical, I think is what it is. Anyway, I'm getting light strikes. Well, I've heard that's one of the problems with some of these uh, ARs in the 762 by 39 format. I bought some uh, uh, magazines. I bought uh, a 30 round AR stoner and I bought two 10 round C products and they're steel uh, magazines and I've heard that people are not having trouble with them. Uh, they say the Pro Max, the plastic ones are really giving them trouble. They're not feeding right. Well, I actually bought a 7.62x39 Pro Mag for my SKS, and I went out to shoot it today, and I had all kinds of trouble with it feeding, too. It may just be the Pro Mag. It worked, you know, Pro Mags work fine on my AR with a 556 by 45 or 223 but boy, they sure don't on my SKS. So anyway, what I'm going to do, I read that you can take the firing pin. Let me see if I can get that in here close. You can take the firing pin for these light strikes and trim the face of it right here between five thousandths and seven thousandths of an inch and you can put that in a drill or a drill press and use a file as it's spinning and take a little bit off that face so the so it has more of a strike I don't think we're in good focus here but let's see if we can get it to focus a little better anyway you can see what I'm talking about so I'm gonna take it out of the drill press and see if it'll chuck up in there. If not, I'll just use my regular drill and take some little small files that I have and we'll take that off. Right now, <clears throat> you need a good set of calipers. I would recommend a really good set of calipers. We'll see what the face that is right now. Uh, let's check it out. Looks like eight, eight, five, one. So we want to take 5,000 saw. So we'll go down to point oh eight zero, and that should get us really close. Let me see. Let me check it again here. So we're about point oh eight five one or so. So if we take 5,000, if we go to point oh eight even, we should be good. Okay, I'll set up my camera out here, and we can watch on the drill press and see what I do. Okay, let me make sure I go in here. Okay, I'm putting this in really light. I'm not chucking it up very tight. I don't want to damage the face of the, of the firing pin. So you can see that's really in there pretty well. So I'm going to keep my, keep my uh, calipers here close by. See if we can get it to focus. Come on, there you go. And we'll just take a little bit at a time. You can see my file here. Just a little needle file. So, make sure we're good. here we go. Okay, I just did a little bit. I'm going to test it now and I'm going to see where we're at. Probably not nearly enough, but I want to be sure that I don't get too much. Let's see. Gotta really be careful. <clears throat> Man, I got okay, let's see if we can get this on here. Let me back it off a little bit. Okay, and we'll measure it. 
0.089, so we still need, I didn't take hardly anything off there, so we're showing, yeah, 0.083, so yeah, we took a, just a little bit off, so we'll take a little more off, let's see what happens. This block of wood out of here. Check that. Let's see what we got. Okay, we'll see if we can see this here in the camera. Looks like point oh eight one. So let's go just a hair more. Just a little bit more. Okay, here we go. So I've got to tighten it up a little bit. I got it just a little bit too loose. There we go. It's going to be pretty darn close right there. Let's take it and see. Okay, let's zero everything out. Okay, let's see if we can get it on camera here. Get it focused. Okay, there we go. One, eight, one. Still need just a little bit. See if we're even. Yep, good to go. All right, let's check that out. Okay, make sure we're zeroed. Okay, let's get it on camera here. There we go. Along here. Yep, we're about that's about six and a half thousandths right there. So that's good. I'm gonna put my needle file back. And now we'll go put it back in the gun and we'll get it to the range one of these days. Okay, back here in the house, got my firing pin. I've taken, if you can see that just a little bit off, I've taken about six and a half thousandths off of that edge. That's point zero zero six five. They say to take between five and seven thousand. So, whoops, I just dropped it. It's hard to hang on these little things. So, anyway, there it is. We took off six and a half thousandths off of that, off the front. That way, when it it fires, it can uh, go in just a little bit further to the primer. So you can see this. That goes in the bolt. You take it off that, you could actually take about six or seven thousandths off of the end of your bolt here, but I don't really want to do that. If I have to replace anything, I'd rather replace a 10 or $20 bolt, uh, firing pin than I would a bolt. So it's easier to put that in the chuck of your drill press or just a regular drill and smooth that up. I hope you can see how smooth that is. Probably not focusing. Hard for me to tell. You can find all over the internet how to take apart a bolt assembly and how to put it back together. 
I'm pretty new to this stuff, actually. So, I mean, I'm, I'm just learning myself. I, I love this stuff, but I'm going to put this back. And that kind of forces in. And you've got your pin here that goes in. I have to go on YouTube and find ways to do it. But you see, you put this pin in and you turn it. And then put your firing pin in. There we go. There's the firing pin installed. It goes right in here. And then we need to put our cotter key or whatever you want to call it in there. That goes in from this side here. it with some with some pliers here little needle nose that got the little hook on them those things come in handy okay let's see if I can get them come on go in there let's see what I've got to do to make it fit maybe I need to move it around a little bit not sure Let's take a look and see what we got here. If you can see, that's open. I don't know if you can see or not. Yeah, you can see the hole there. Okay. Let's see, that's kind of spread a little bit. But we'll still we'll try it again. The short side was on the top while ago when I took it out. Oh, one of the big things is to always watch how you take stuff out. If nothing else, take some photographs with your digital camera or, or use your video camera and, and uh, record how it comes out of there. It makes it a lot easier when you put things back because I don't know if your memory is any better than mine, but I have a hard time remembering this stuff. Okay, let's see. any difference when I figure it out I'll tell you I you can see that I hope you can see that on camera whoops gotta put the pin back in get that down there okay I pulled this out this time so we'll see if that makes a difference Nope. Well, I'm going to go online and see what I'm doing wrong. I, I'll come back and tell you what I did in a minute. Okay, what I did is I uh, want to make sure that the extractor is oops, drop that up, to the right side of the uh, rifle. And I made sure that was right. And then put the firing pin back in. I dropped it out just now as I was getting stuff done. Okay, there we go. I didn't have it all the way in when I put my cotter pin back in, so let's take that out. Yeah, there we go. If you make sure it's it's horizontal this way, it goes in much easier. I had it up the other way, vertical, and it wouldn't go in. So now, see my firing pin won't fall out. So like I say, hey, I'm new at this stuff. I'm learning. I love this stuff. It's fun. But uh, anyway, that should work now. We'll have to take it back to the range and check it out and see what's going on, see if it works.